hi everyone welcome to my channel and if you've been here before welcome back to my channel today we're cooking something a bit different i'm making what's called ponmo p-o-n-m-o in jamaica we just call it cow skin it is what it is we prepare it a bit differently too this way i'm making it today it's like how the nigerians make it they make it with a lot of tomatoes onions scotch bonnet peppers and they blend it together making a sauce you gotta try it this way though because when i tasted it i was a believer it is so delicious hey guys i'm here today making cow skin it's called ponmo so the best way to make it we gotta clean it up first best way to clean it up is to sharpen your knife really well See that they're clean before and after. Big difference before and after. All right, and then on the outside, if you see any skin on there, any hair on there, you gotta scrape the hair off. But at the same time, you can see that it's kind of discolored. You can just go ahead and scrape that off a bit. Just to get that outer layer off. This one looks different before and after. So just gonna go ahead and do this to the rest of them until you're finished. After you finish, you can cut them into squares. And cut them into pieces like this size. So just go ahead and clean them up right now. Okay, so see, this one looks like when it's nice and clean. I washed it like three or four times. I put salt and vinegar on there before I wash it, get all the whatever off of it, and now they're nice and clean. So now I'm going to put them in the pressure cooker for 15 or 25 minutes after it starts to make that noise. When it starts to steam, you're going to turn it off 25 minutes after that point. So let's go. Okay, so this is the pressure cooker. I'm going to put it all in. I didn't put too much water. Probably put like about, mm, I probably say like four cups or five cups or so of water. And then I'm going to add to the water, I'm going to add bay leaves. I'll put bay leaves. I'm going to also add some allspice. And we're going to add some whole garlic. Garlic is a natural tenderizer. It gives a lot of flavor. So while it's boiling, it's going to get some flavor. And then I'm going to cook it down in a really nice sauce. So we're just going to head and put these to boil. And like I said, we're going to cover these up. Going to put the weight on top. You're going to hear it starts to steam and make a loud noise. Once it starts to make that noise, just put your timer on 25 minutes. And then you're going to go ahead and stop it after that. So we're about to cover it all up. See, it's about to start boiling. Okay. We're finished with this step. Okay, it's starting to make noise. So we got to wait 25 minutes and turn it off. 
Okay, so it's been 25 minutes and it's nice and soft. As you can see, the spoon is making a dent in it. I don't want to cut them up too small. Plus, I'm going to allow them to cook some more once I put them in the sauce. So then they're going to get even softer. So, speaking of sauce, let's start making that sauce right now. Okay, so I added the skins and the water that boiled the skins off camera. Sorry about that. But now I put it to simmer for about like another 15, 20 minutes or so. However long it takes to actually reduce. So whatever water is left inside of the skins, just throw that in there. Give it a chance to get softer so to absorb all the nice flavors. Wow, it is so pretty. My sauce is really saucy, boy. Yeah, I know y'all not used to it this way. This is a Nigerian way. Oh. <laughs> I got the uh, recipe off of a Nigerian lady that I follow on Instagram. And it is really delicious, I guess, with all the tomatoes. You can use fresh tomatoes, but I just use a tomato sauce. Peppers, bell pepper, hot pepper. I use um, scallion, I use thyme. Um, what else I use? Garlic as well, yes. Garlic. Fry it up in some butter, add my sauce, and there you go. Nigerian style, bon mot. I like color skin. So I'm going to let the sauce reduce some more, let it get a bit softer, and then you'll see the finished product. Okay, so this is the finished product. I'm going to turn it off now. I don't want the sauce to reduce too much. I want some to go with my rice. Well, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Whole skin, a.k.a. Ponmo. Delicious, it's nice and soft. You can cut it with a spoon. Literally. See? Cut it with a spoon. It's nice and soft. That's how you know it's ready. 
Okay, guys, like, share, subscribe, share it with a friend, and try it for yourself. It's really delicious like this, trust me. I also put some sugar in there to neutralize the acidity of the tomatoes, and it's like really delicious. Trust me, try it. Okay, so there she is. Trust me, it tastes just as good as it looks. You have got to try this recipe. And when you do, I would like for you to comment below. Let me know exactly how it tastes because trust me, it is so delicious. I'm going to make this over and over again. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have subscribed already, I'd like to thank you for being a part of the family. And go ahead on over to Instagram and follow me there. I'm there as the same name. I'm here, Designer Rosado. Thank you and have a blessed day. Oh, 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 o